What's going on everyone? It's Sean from Barbell Built Body and in light of all the coronavirus and people having to do home workouts, I figured this was a perfect time to go over the ab rollout, which I think is oftentimes um, not done correctly. So we're going over it today. So the ab rollout, first of all, we need to think about the abs of what we're targeting, right? So we're trying to resist spinal, um, we're either trying to actively flex the spine or resist spinal extension. So what does that mean? When we're looking at the rectus abdominis, which is your six pack muscles, they run from right up here, xiphoid process, to the fifth, sixth, and seventh ribs. So basically right up in here, attachment, and goes all the way down to your pubic bone. So what does that do? That action, when you contract those to get those closer together, what does that do? It flexes the spine. So this is the movement. So our movement should either be actively resistant to do this, to target that muscle. The goal is, that's the musculature we're targeting, so let's make this exercise actually mimic that. So oftentimes people turn this into a hip flexion exercise where it's, you know, it's here, when the movement should be here couple q-tips on how to fix this exercise especially if you're somebody who feels it in your low back so if you feel it in your low back you've turned this into a hip flexion exercise because the psoas major attaches to the side transverse process of your lumbar um all your lumbar vertebrae so feeling your back you're hip flexing now what you want to do is tight glutes the re the way to get this point closest to this point like we said is flex and it's also to posterior rotate the, um, your pelvis. To do that, you tighten your glutes and you squeeze your hamstrings. Now, upper body, you want your shoulder blades kind of protracted around, kind of in a hunch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. Now, this isn't the only way to do it. This is how I like to do it to target the exact muscle I'm working on. So I'm squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings, shoulders protracted, wrapped around. I'm gonna go roll out. It's about here. I don't want to go, and then I come back up, and as I come up, I drive my hips forward, posterior rotating, and it cramps the bottom, your lower abs. Now, what you don't want to do is go too far. So this is one of the mistakes. You basically want to be looking like a half moon. So your spine's uh, flexed, and as you go down, you kind of extend it, and it bows, and then it comes back up, and you flex back into it. What you don't want to do is end up like disengaging your glutes and hamstrings, letting your pelvis roll forward and turning this into a hip flexion exercise. So look at my low back. This is what happens when I don't, when I'm not actively trying to kind of get that arch. I roll out and then I'm flat and I come back. But what I did there was I, can, I deactivated, basically I let my pelvis roll forward, thereby making it much more of a hip flexion exercise as I'm pulling on my knees to bring myself back up. I want to feel it here. So do that when you get those two points close together. So shoulders rolled out, big arch, big cat back, hips squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings, roll out as you start kind of bowing. As soon as you feel like there's going to be a point where you feel like basically you're kind of losing engagement of your abs. So this is where you know you have to be in tune with that of where for me, that's why I like doing this exercise right to about there and then squeezing back up. I feel like as soon as I start going further than that, I'm kind of losing it. I'm starting to go into spinal extension, and I feel like it's just, it's hard to keep that activation going without turning it in, once I said, like a hip flexion exercise, which is not the goal. So, glutes tight, hamstrings tight, shoulders around, become, be that bow, that half moon that stretches out, and then right as you get to about a neutral spine, bring it back up, drive those glutes up, posteriorly rotate. So when you get to the top here, you should be getting like a little squeeze. Get those points as close as possible. Down, up. Try those techniques. I hope it works. Let me know what you think.